Hello Warwick football fans and welcome to an overtime short. I'm your host Theodore Fernandez as always. It's time for some Warwick football coverage so let's get right into it. Warwick taking on Wallkill, big homecoming matchup. See the players getting warmed up here, cheerleaders celebrating. They have a lot of reasons to be happy. The Cats are 3-0 but this is going to be a tough battle. First quarter, Warwick fumbled on their opening drive. Now Wallkill on the move in the red zone. Alex Nagersmith comes in for the sack. He's celebrating. Teammates hyping him up, but Warwick still has a stop to make. It's now fourth down. Rather than kicking the field goal, they're going to go for it. Throw, end zone. Skyler Rodriguez there to break up the pass. Johnny Acardo loves it. Scoreless at the end of the first. Now second quarter, Krasnowitz has Warwick on the move. From the 32, takes the snap. Not even a full drop back. He finds Nate Constable, what a dime, into the end zone. Touchdown, Warwick. And look at that, he gets mobbed by his offensive line. Warwick leading 7-0 early in the second now. There's a quiet quarter offensively, not much happened. This is the final play. Wallkill, Hail Mary attempt is going to be picked off. Johnny Accardo. There to make the play, wisely kneels down, and it's 7-0 Warwick at the half. Third quarter now, let's see the offense heat up. Krasnowitz finds, Skylar Rodriguez end zone, touchdown. Burns the defender, makes the catch, tosses it to the ref, and celebrating with his captain. Pass now 14-0. Rodriguez happy, he would not be done. This is the next drive from midfield. Krasnowitz looking. And there he is again, beautiful slant route, and he's going to take this for over 25 yards into the red zone. Owen Hoyne takes it in for the touchdown a couple plays later, and the Caps lead by 21. How about the defense? They're getting involved, too, with the pass break up there. Now this is the final play of the third quarter. Cats already up three scores, and here goes Latrell Willis. Just outrunning defenders down the sideline for his first touchdown of the game. 28-0 Cats through three as he celebrates with his teammates. Now we're going to head to the fourth quarter. Warwick already had a big lead, but Latrell Willis was not done. This a 62-yard touchdown. Just look at this. Out running, out muscling, out fighting defenders to get to the end zone. Warwick, what a performance. Drew Warner missed a PAT, but he was great. Other than that, they win it. 34 to nothing. What a performance by the Cats. That wall kill team is very good, and we just played amazing. And in front of our hometown, homecoming, felt great. Yeah, so we, we feel good. We had a really good week of practice. We've, we've been stacking really good weeks on top of each other. And if you do that, you're going to keep getting better every day. It's great to see the way we're playing defense. Uh, to know that defense can hold up and, and play gives you some real opportunities on offense. There we heard from our coach and captain, Man, they are both hyped up, and why wouldn't they be? Warwick is 4-0. For just the second time in eight seasons, it is a great day to be a Wildcat, but it only gets harder from here. Warwick travels to NFA and then Minnesink consecutive weeks. Those are big-time football games that could make or break the season. We'll be bringing you coverage of those in some form on the channel. I'm so excited to get to cover this team this year because there will be some big games coming up. Thank you all for tuning in. For WBTV, I'm Theodore Fernandez.